We are good morning. It's Wednesday and it's a Wednesday recipe day. Why well, do so I've seen you check it in? Is our usual lunch and guest coming today? And uh, what I'm gonna do here is I have a pork loin, apple bourbon pork pork loins ready to go in the oven. Nothing fancy that I got. It was already bought at the store with all the good seasonings right in it. I've got my thermometer set for 160 degrees when the needle hits straight up. That'll be done. Not quite ready to put that in yet. It's about uh, 1055. I'm heating up my frying pan here and I got a little bit of baking fat. My favorite kind of Fine pan lubricant. And what I'm going to attempt to make today is I'm going to saute a whole bunch of veggies in a teriyaki stir fry. But instead of being totally stir fried, I'm going to let everything kind of like mellow out in there, I guess I'd call it. And uh, so right now I'm getting the frying pan warmed up. The ingredients for this are going to be, I have a uh, half a cup of uh, celery, half a cup of uh, carrots chopped up nice and fine, about two thirds of a cup of shiitake mushrooms. These are diced mushrooms, canned diced mushrooms. A cup of broccoli, uh, one whole green pepper, and two cups, no, oh, two cups of onion sliced. They're all going to go in there. So I'm going to start this little show on the road. And what's going to happen here is I'm going to start with the onions. They're going in. Totally caramelized these. We're going to get them nice and lighter in color. And we get the old celery in there along with it. It's going to hurt. So this is going to slowly simmer over time. Once to get it heated up the way I want right now. It gets cooked a little bit. I also have rice going in the microwave. Um, one cup of rice and a cup and three quarters of liquid. Normally that would be water, but today I decided I'm going to take a chance and uh, try something different. I substituted the water for chicken broth. So add a little flavor to the rice. We'll see what happens here. I'm probably blocking the camera. But, uh, don't mind my back brace. Uh, got a lot of miles on the back, and it kind of reminds me that uh, <coughs> my odometer's got a lot of mileage on it. All right, I got that on fairly high, so I'll swallow it back just slightly. Okay, so the rice is in the microwave, and that's an automatic pilot. Carrots will take a while, but they're going to be cooked because they are diced so small. But I just want to add a little color to this sort of kind of. I'm using uh, a lot of green stuff here today. All right. The plan is that when this is done, let me see how my camera looks here. I don't have an assistant, so I'm my own assistant, so if I mess up the shot, I got nobody to blame but <coughs> me. Okay, things are moving right along here. Then go to shrooms. And a nice little broccoli chopped up pretty small. 
And what I was saying, when this is all done, the plan is to use it with the rice or something, or alongside the rice or right on top if you prefer. Yeah, look at that Norway. This old cast iron pan here, it's like a Dutch oven almost thereabouts. Sat in my cellar, in my basement, for probably about 10 years that had been used and it sat down there and got all kinds of rusted up. So I spent quite a bit of time de-rusting it and rejuvenating it. I think I've been rewarded as it were. Oh, one other thing I've used on my videos. Um, this is the type of can opener I use because it goes around the edge of the can. I hope I'm in there like this. And instead of cutting through the top and making a sharp edge. Now this can was, you can see, it's got the little pull lid. I didn't want to use the pull lid because I have not used all the mushrooms. They're probably going on a steak today for, <laughs> for supper or something. But anyways, that allows you to Snap your little lid back on the cover, and well, I almost tripped over an old dog out here. Dog Daisy belongs to my daughter. The dog babysit. Well, we babysit each other during the day when she works. So this is going up, and I'm using what I'm using here is just a, a Latroy. Not that I'm getting any money from anybody. Latroy teriyaki stir fried sauce and marinade. And this stuff is going to go. About 11 o'clock now. It's going to go until at least noon time cooking. And it's going to be in with the Faraday. So it's going to marinate slowly into the stuff. Now, I'm not going to go much further with the cooking on this as far as without the marinade in there. I just wanted to get things warmed up a tad. It looks like a nice little salad to me, not that I'm a salad person. I don't think you'll see me making too many salad recipes, but you never know. All right. So, Ugh. trying to add the gooey stuff here. I'm probably going to take pretty close to the whole bottle, but yeah, because I want to work it all in. This is going to be like a nice sauce when it's done, hopefully. I will put it back on. Yeah. Yes, sir. Looking nicely here. Yeah. That's what it's going to take. All right. And what I'm going to do is <coughs> shake all that I can out of here. And I'll put a couple drops of cold water in the jar. Shake it up a little bit. Just gonna boil that a little, and that gets the last of the good stuff in there, so we don't waste any of it. Throw it and feed it to the garbage. So I have the sauce all in there now. What I'm gonna end up doing is moving this to a back burner with a cover on it and let it do its thing. So I will be shutting down here and Pretty quick I'll be starting up the oven to get the roast going. Hopefully everything is going to come out yeah, as close to noontime as possible. Alright, open the door. Oh my goodness, my rice looks pretty good today. Alright. Let it set in there. That'll stay hot for quite a while. So now, this is boiling, so what I'm going to do is put the cover on. And... I'll go over to the side. I'll be turning the oven on very shortly. And uh, bringing this over to the other side. And I'm going to use a pot holder because that handle does get just a tad more. Alright, so I'm going to shift over to here. Turn on my rear burner. Alright, shut off the front one. I'm going to get everybody relocated. And that's a small burner, but I'm leaving it right up on high right now, and I'll come back and check with the camera off and just to make sure 
it's up to a nice low simmer and just let it go for the, well, about an hour. So it'll be ready at lunchtime. So for the moment, I'm going to check out from this operation. Or I do saw a senior checking out. Well, we've come to the moment of reckoning. It's time to see what I created here. So, what I do so I'll see is digging into the goodies. First of all, we've got some rice here. And put the rice down here. Nice pickled bunch like that. Alrighty. Maybe a little teeny bit more just in case. Alright, I hope I'm not blocking the camera here. Now we're going to get to the good stuff here and the veggies, so I'm going to move the rice back out of the way and oh, sit the big old frying pan closer. All right, oh, look at that, huh? I'm all kind of cooked down here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to heap a heap it right on the top of that, probably get a little bit of juicy wooshy to go with it. Ah, oh, doesn't that look delicious? And we're going to find out. So I'm going to be passing it out. So we have some ham here. Oh, excuse me, ham. Pork loin. All right. I want to get some on the plate here. And it's not going to be too fancy. Toss it in there. Well, I guess I didn't cut all the way to the bottom on that piece. That's all right. It's nice and tender, so it'll come apart here. Well, that may not look too pretty, but such as it is, that is the final result of uh, cooking up the goodies here today. So we're going to sit down and give it a test, and when it's done, we'll see if we get the two thumbs up or a thumb up and down or... I don't know, or we don't care for it, but I think it's going to be good. It smells delicious. Boy, Dussault Sr. checking out and lunching down. Yeah, Boy, Dussault Sr. coming back to close out the video. We had uh, my latest concoction for lunch, and it was delicious. So... Look at that, huh? That's going to be good for another meal or two. And the rice I left over for a little bit. So, always good to have leftovers. So, Lloyd Dussault Sr. checking out after a uh, successful lunch.